Hey Divas, this is Anna coming to you with my Junkier Tag series. And um, this one is going to be with Pro 31 Designs, Yummies on it. So, um, not only one, but I did two of them. I just had the mojo and idea, so I wanted to hit them both at the same time instead of just doing the one. So, um, let's jump on in there. Okay. First one that I did is this one. And what I used is the mesh from Pro 31. And I actually just adhered this with hot glue. Um, all around the tag and then I had put it on and just cut it. It cuts really easy with the Tim Holtz scissors. And then also with the Pro 31 burlap and the burlap or, and the trim from Pro 31 designs. Okay? And then all the butterflies that you see around are all Martha Stewart and then I put um, liquid pearls in the center. Those are I Am Rose's flowers in the middle. And um, I don't think you're going to see the shimmer on them, but um, I ended up using up some of my smooch sprays. And these are I Am Rose's leaves. They're little tiny small ones. And then I have Pro 31 flat, um, flat back pearls, the super tiny ones. I don't remember which millimeter those are, but they're the super tiny ones. They look like they're about a 2 or a 3 millimeter. They're really tiny. And that's what I use as the stem. So that's what it is. I have like three stems here. And then I have the I Am Rose flowers on the top. And then um, I have um, the butterflies sporadically around all of it. Because I wanted to try out the mesh. I was like, you know what? I want to try the mesh and cut it as the tag. That would be kind of cool. So before I laid the mesh on there, though, I thoroughly like used some of the Victorian velvet from Tim Holtz all over the tag. I didn't lay down any type of um, design paper below it. It just felt like it would be such a waste to cover it all with the mesh anyways. So that's the front. And then I just have seam binding, crinkled seam binding on the top. This is the back. And what this is, this is a file folder that's embossed. And these were, um, they have um, that, um, Oh, you know what? Give me a second. I just lost my whole train of thought. Um, okay, and then this right here is an eyelet soft pink lace that I got. I couldn't tell you where I got it. And then another one right here. Let me see the light from my um, sliding glass door it makes it too bright. And then this is just a cream thin type of ruffle trim. And then the little flat back pearls right here. And then the Martha Stewart butterfly with the liquid pearls. And then right up here, I don't know if you're going to be able to see it. It says thank you. And these are metal. I had um, an old scrapbook store I used to go to. And um, they had these pieces that were in metal. So I had bought a bunch of them. So it says thank you. That's it. I just remembered. Ooh la la vintage treasures is where these... Um, where I had got these from. So I don't have this die. I really want to get that die. And um, I uh, don't have it. So these are embossed already. And what I did is I put a Velcro piece and then and then two tags. I have the punch for this one. It's a Marby punch. So I didn't do anything to it because, like I said, when the time comes that I must use it, then at that time I will fill it up. Okay, and that's tag number one. Now, let's go to tag number two. Okay, all right, this one right here. Oh my gosh, I ordered from Jules because she has this, her, um, the cut, the die cut for the, for this right here. So I bought the set. Oh my gosh, it's so stinking beautiful super beautiful oh my gosh okay anyways so she, her store is her blog totally go check her out at the jewels.com and um, these are so stinking awesome so what I did is I used um, the cocoa bean from Lindy Stamp Gang to color the girl this right here um, I don't remember where this one came from honestly but um, 
And then I just put the little tiny pearls and I cut a few of them and laid those on with glossy accents. And then what I did on this one is I used pink and then I um, used white on the top. And then you see all the speckles. That's from the Lindy's stamp game. I wanted all the speckles on there, on the back like that. And then I have some more um, Pro 31 trim right here. This is a 4 millimeter, and it's like a bronze color. It's super duper beautiful. And what I did with this tag is I layered it with, you see that? How stinking awesome is that? I used that rose trim, and I actually um, hot glued gun it to the tag, and then I just cut around it. Because I was like, oh, I want to try that at the background. That would be super pretty. So it's all the way around. Okay. And then this right here, this lace is um, my own stash that I have. And I just glued it on the back of this. And then I glued this on top after I adhered it already. That right there is an I Am Roses flower right here. An I Am Roses crocheted flower with a flat halfback pearl that I buy from Saw Crafters. This I have purchased from the Expo. This is just a little, I think it's a Jolie's little sticker, and it's just a flower with a bling in the middle. And this I have some trim and some seam binding tying it. And I have like a little safety pin. These ones you can buy at Michael's. And um, they don't have the bottom part, so a charm can actually hang at the bottom of it. And then this right here is also from Michael's, so I have a little charm attached to it. This is the back. And then um, this is Saw Crafters, her flat back pearls. And then I used another paper to line the backing of it. And then my Martha Stewart punch. And then I have some of the Recollections bling. They had a sale um, that ended yesterday where everything was 50% off. So I had to jump on it because that means it's only $2.50 for those. And then I have this right here. And I just put the Martha Stewart bow punch. Love that punch. It's stinking adorable. And then some flat back pearls. And that's it. And those will just sit back here for the time that I need to fill them out. So, here's the tag. Hope you guys are having a fun watching, having a lot of fun watching because I'm, I totally look forward to making them now. And what's so cool is that when you when you tell people that you, you're going to start a series, you're going to start doing this, even if you're not like maybe feeling it, you know you have to do it. So that's what's kind of cool is that, you know, it's like something to look forward to for me. So I'm actually, you know, really enjoying making these and it's going to be nice to be able to have, you know, all of them done. And at the end of it, and then I'm going to have a bunch. So then when I have to send stuff, I don't have to make any. So that was my first one. And then here's second and third. And this one I just used a lot more of my, um, this is more so dedicated to my Pro 31 Design Team projects. So I figured I would loop them into my Junkier Tag series. Hope you ladies enjoyed it. I had such a blast. Thank you so much for stopping by and being fabulous. And also, too, I was making some of these loopy flowers. I don't have the MFT die for this, um, but Jules has a tutorial on how to do these um, by hand and um, using your felt, like the cheap felt you get at Michael's. <clears throat> so um, it's exact. it turns out the exact same way if you have the die. So for me, I don't see a reason in buying the die if I can do this myself, and it turned out just the exact same way. I haven't put the backing on it yet, so I need to do the circle punch to put it on. But literally all you're doing with these right here is you're cutting the length you want, about what, I would say maybe three inches. And I did this one, I didn't do, I wanted them to be kind of small, you know, so if you wanted to put it on something small, it was like maybe, um, I'm going to say maybe eight inches long, so three by eight. It was my scraps, so I had like, you know, just a scrap piece like this. And I'm, I didn't want to, I know I need to use it, so I just made some of these. And you're literally just putting hot glue, a very thin layer of hot glue, not thick, and then you're folding it in half, and then all you're doing is you're getting your scissors and you're just cutting, you know, like a quarter of an inch all the way down. And then you're just hot gluing all the sides of it, and you're just rolling it. That's all you're doing. And see right here? If you cut just enough, not too high up, this doesn't sit so high, you know. So when you put it on a project, it's more flat. 
If you don't cut too far down, then this sticks up taller and then it sticks up higher on your project. I don't know if that made any kind of sense, but I wanted to keep it low down here, you know, so that it could lay a little flatter. And then once I put my backing on that, it'll be fixed. But see how cute these are? If you don't know how to do these, you totally got to check out her tutorial. Super easy. And um, use up some of those scrap felt pieces, or they're only like, you know, 30 cents at Michael's to get. So, but that's pretty much it, ladies. That's all I've done this weekend. I was um, out and about this weekend. And um, cleaning house, spring cleaning, it's been fun. So I'm going to work on my canvas right now. Um, and hopefully I'll get that one done in a couple. I'm doing like one of the Marion Smith um, canvases um, that she was doing back in the day. Let's see, let me see if I can show you without it. Oh, it's going to be too bright, isn't it? Okay. Let me move without. So far, this is kind of where I'm at. So what I'm doing is I'm just I'm not trying to stroke it really nice. It's kind of just like a washout stroke. I haven't adhered my lace on here yet, so it's still like just laying on here. And um, I'm gonna put some stuff on it, make it dimensional, and I'm gonna make it so that it matches my house. My house is pretty much um, black and burgundy. Like I have the black leather couches and burgundy curtains and stuff like that so this right here is a dark chocolate brown and um, I'll be adding more acrylic paint to it giving it more of um, that um, what's that called medium media whatever you know when you just throw stuff on there it's not gonna be all nice and perfect I've been wanting to do one of these for like a super long time so that's just the beginning and um, I'm gonna be working on um, that in a couple days and I'll show a video of that one. All right ladies thank you so much again for stopping by and I will see you again soon. Bye!